your headphones in. <laughs> right, let's light these candles. Come up. Here. Oh, I know, it's because it's shit. You have to make sure in the actual group that you click on all notifications, otherwise you'll only get some of them. Which is the bitches. Oh, I can hear it, we're live. We are live. We are live. Post is dead. Oh, quick, quick, before it burns my fingers. Thank you. Weird. It's strange. Ooh, weird. Right, I need those, don't I? Right, let's light these candles. Just lighting the. Um, oh, ow. Ooh, ouch. Lighting the ooh, ouch. Lighting the altar candles. And the um, charcoals for the incense. So if you haven't done that already, you can do that now, guys. Hello. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Ian. What are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. I keep asking myself that because that's what I practice. Oh, don't be old. Stuff. What are we doing here? So we're just uh, finishing setting up, lighting the water candles, the illumination, as they're known, illumination candles. Let me do go on. Lighting the coals. So if you haven't lit your coals or your incense, if you're using stick incense, do it now. What else have we got? Just Amanda at the moment. Is that new moon, is it? It is indeed new moon. Lighting the coals for any of you that are just turning up. Got a little bit of banishing incense actually in the uh, in the burner. So we'll get a little bit of a banish as well today. Quite nice. I did a superb dark moon yesterday. It was wicked. Literally wicked. Oh, fantastic, Amanda! Yay! I miss the days when you and Gary would join us for the rituals. That's really cool. Put that there. So get your coals lit. If you're joining in, then light your um, water candles, your illumination candles, as they're called sometimes by some people. <laughs> I'm just going to put the incense on the coals. Get this going. Oh, that's a bit potent. <laughs> right. Wow. Oops. Get it lit down there. Cool. Got our lovely candelabra here. Who else is that? Alexa. I can just about see. <laughs> All that way away. Hi Alexa. So we're going to hang on for a minute or so. While we do that, I'll run through the order of service today. So, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. 
I bloodied my trident again. Luckily, because I find it really hard to prick my own finger, <laughs> I'm sitting there going, oh, I can't do it. Luckily, I had a scab on my arm, so I'll just use that instead. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the trident, all bloodied and ready. So, you don't have to bloody it if you don't want to, but it, it makes it... it um, what it does is it tunes it to your DNA, yeah? Very cool. <laughs> um, got the chart there. Triomorphis, Triodetis, Enodia, Hecate. Very cool. And do you want some oil? Stick your finger in there, love. I wouldn't put it on your third eye, because <laughs> it might burn. <laughs> it's got a bramelin oil in it. For any of you who don't know the story about me and a bramelin oil, first time I bought it, and it actually says on there, and it actually says uh, Crowley also recommended that you don't put it on your third eye. So I went, yeah, right. And I put it on my third eye. It burnt like fuck. <laughs> so if you ever make or buy a bramelin oil, don't put it on your third eye because it burns like fuck. <laughs> it doesn't burn anywhere else you put it. Just on your third eye. How mad is that? Okay. So, order of service today. So, we are going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to do something a bit different this evening. Uh, we have done um, Tree of Life, Cross of Light and the Lesser Ritual of the Pentagram before. We did it uh, last September, actually, funny enough, um, in a Dark Moon Ritual with Hecate and Ariane Rod. So, that's what we're going to do tonight. Tree of Life, Cross of Light. I'm just going to put that there in, I'm going to be walking, I'm going to be stepping round, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be stepping round, so, um, so yeah, we're going to do the tree of life, cross of light, and what I'll do is I'll talk you through that as we do it, same with the lesser, uh, we're going to do the invoking ritual of the pentagram, because we've just come out of a dark moon, okay, so it's a new moon, although it's only 0.3% illumination this evening, but even so, still a new moon um, so we're going to do the lesser invoking ritual of the pentagram again I'll talk you through it uh, we're going to ground using the drum and we're going to cast a Dio seal circle so we're going to start in the east go clockwise um, with some words again you can use your own words or you can copy mine we're then going to call the elements with some very cool words uh, we will then call on Hecate uh, with some amazing words that we have again we've used these before but I just I just really wanted to use these because well you know why not <laughs> um, then we're gonna um, make the offerings we're gonna open the crossroads descend into the underworld uh, journey through the night side and then we do the chant Hecate, Trimorpheus, Triodetes, Enodia, Hecate and what we do when we're chanting that so I have got my mala here so I will count the 108 for that I must remember to do that um, so when you're doing that um, we are gazing at the trident and what I what I've got before is it's like it glows strange colors <laughs> so we're kind of looking for you know a change in your your perception when you're gazing at the trident so okay whoops sit sit <laughs> Who have we got, Ian? Hmm. Amanda, Alexa. Um, we have three people. Pardon me. Okay. So we're going to start. So if you're joining in, we're going to face east. Okay. For the tree of life life cross of light 
and then the lesser uh, ritual of the pentagram so come facing east I'll give you a second to get there if you're not sure where east is in um, this mudra it's called benediction mudra but it can be called other things as well and we're going to bring that over our heads and I want you to imagine a ball of white light above your head we're then going to bring that light down using the fingers to the forehead and we're going to say the words ah te Take a breath. Bring that light down to the breastbone and say Iao. Take a breath. We're going to bring that light all the way down. We're going to point the fingers down to your feet and say Malkuth. Take a breath. We're going to bring that light all the way up to the right shoulder and say Vege Buddha. Take a breath. Then bring that light all the way over to the left shoulder saying Vege Dula. And then bring both hands down by your side. And then say, Le Ulam Aminara. Okay, so still facing east, still using this mudra, this benediction mudra. What we're going to do is we're going to begin the lesser invoking ritual of the pentagram so the invoking this is the uh, invoking pentagram of earth okay so in order to draw that we are going from the top so imagine a pentagram yeah a pentacle we're going from the top down to the bottom left up to the top right Cross, down to the bottom right and back up and as you do that imagine that you're drawing the pentagram with blue flame we're then going to bring the arm back and then we are going to fire our fingers into the middle of the pentagram and say elemental air and then we're tracing quarter circle around to the south again draw the invoking pentagram from the top bottom left up oh my lord <laughs> Don't worry about it, Ange. It's a massive spider. Um, up to the top right, across, left, down, bottom right, and back up. Again, bring the arm back. Thrust the fingers into the middle of the pentagram and say, Elemental Fire. And then going to come round, drawing circle until we reach west again draw the invoking pentacle of earth from the top bottom left up to the right across down and back to the top thrusting the fingers to the middle of the pentagram elemental water and then all the way around 
to north again draw the pentagram as before and then to the middle of the pentagram elemental earth and then we're coming all the way back around to east then bring your arms out to the side your right palm is up your left palm is down and repeat after me before me elemental air behind me elemental water to my right elemental fire to my left elemental earth about me flame the pentagrams Imagine that circle of pentagrams with a blue flame. Above me, the Father. So envision a hexagram. It's two interlo interlinking triangles in a blue flame. Below me, the Mother. Ones below your feet, hexagram. Within me, the eternal flame. So stay there for a couple of breaths. And then release the hand. So we're going to cast our circle, so I'm going to use my wand. So again, we're starting in the east and we're moving clockwise. <coughs> so again, you can use your own words or you can follow mine, it's up to you. I summon this circle, this circle I summon. Power, peace and protection come in to bind to the womb of our spiritual birth through water and fire and air and earth. I summon this circle, this circle I summon power peace and protection come in to bind to the womb of our spiritual birth through water and fire and air and earth one more time i summon this circle this circle i summon power peace and protection come in to bind to the womb of our spiritual birth through water and fire and air and earth to end back east We're going to invoke the elements. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute. I'm still trying to get in now. So <laughs> bear with me. That's fine. You can come in. Just be careful. You're not going back out. Never work with children and dogs. Right. East. So 
So coming to the east, we're going to invoke the elementals. So again, you can use your own words or you can follow mine. Awake. Oh gods of air. Blow away old ideas and bring in new inspiration on your winds of change. Come around to the south. Awake. Oh gods of fire. Burn away the unknown desires which hold me back. Shine your light on my new desires. Now to the west. Hello, Smurf. Awake, O oh, gods of water. Cleanse my world of subconscious blocks. Drop your rain upon me for growth. Around to the north. Awake, O oh gods of earth. Let your renewing magic Recycle the energies of old ways of being and of thinking. Open up new paths of abundance and wealth to me. No, you're not sitting on my lap. Okay. So we're going to invoke Hecate. So you can repeat these words if you want to. Oh, my goodness. Candles are doing mad things over there. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Thank you. Now wait. So if you want to, you can close your eyes, if you would rather just listen. I stand at the crossroads of heaven, hell and earth. And I open the gate of the setting sun to walk the path of Hecate, queen of all witches, queen of all witchcraft. Mother of Gods, Titan Goddess of the Night. Hear my prayer and come to me. Bestow your blessings upon my soul. Who seeks knowledge and power of the void. Lady of forgotten mysteries, Guide me on the paths of the night with your torch of Gnosis. Embrace me in ecstasy of possession and grant me the keys to the wisdom of the ancients. Goddess of the crossroads and of the soul, in your name, I open the astral gate of the moon 
and I offer my body as a temple for your eternal essence, so that I may rise forged in your sacred fire. No longer a mortal creature of clay, but a child of the dragon, lady of the crooked path. Ignite my blood with your divine touch and charge it with your Catholic current. Let me drink from your grail, which is the source of all magic and all power. Open the gates to the night side realm so that I may descend to the depths of hell through the paths of the ancient craft. Keeper of the secret keys, come through the crossroads of worlds and dimensions and reveal to me forgotten secrets of witchcraft, the Gnosis of heaven and hell. Queen of shadows, enter through the gates of flesh through the heights and the depths and let your torchlight guide me on the paths of darkness. Hecate, dragon goddess of the void, awaken the spark of immortality in my soul so that I may carry your torch through the endless night. We invoke you, mighty Hecate, Titan Goddess. We invite you into our circle and bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Hecate, glorious. We ask that you lend us your energy. And for you, we offer food from our table. Wine from our cup, incense and herbs from our stores, we thank you for joining us. So just have your eyes closed, feel the energy.
deep down in the mother deep down in the mother deep down So, I'm going to take you through a guided meditation. So close your eyes and I will speak the words of calling. Hecate, try your deities. Meet me at the crossroads and reveal to me the secrets of the night. With your key, I open the gates to the underworld. Close your eyes and begin the visual journey to the crossroads. Visualize yourself in a dark forest at night. The forest is old. There are many withered trees, stumps covered with moss, bones of animals scattered on the ground. At the same time, it seems alive and you feel that you are not alone. You can see the eyes of wild animals or forest spirits flashing in the dark. The wind blowing through tree branches resembles whispering voices. And you can also hear the hissing of serpents beckoning you to go deeper into the woods. And the dogs are barking and howling from afar. There is a path in front of you and you follow the voices that guide you to the crossroads of the worlds. At the end of the path you reach the three crossing pathways and you notice the goddess Hecate, standing there, dressed in a black hooded robe. You cannot see her face, but you can feel her piercing gaze, reaching into the depth of your soul. She stands by a fire which is a pale white shining with ghastly light and casting living shadows that move and dance around her.
as you approach. She gives you a chalice filled with a magic potion. The chalice is simple and carved in bone. The potion is pitch black and thick. And when you drink it, you can feel fire arising at the base of your spine and spreading over the whole body in waves of pain and pleasure. The goddess, Hecate, lowers her hood and now you can see her face and look into her eyes. She has a serpent head with glowing reptilian eyes. Open yourself to whatever may come now. Communicate with the goddess and let her guide you through the vision. And now we descend into the underworld. Hecate, Propilia, let me enter your darkly splendid world. With your torch, I illuminate my way through the night. Return to the crossroads from whence you came. Now envision the goddess with a dog's head and burning eyes as you feel the fire of the potion arising within you you gaze into her eyes. Feel her divine essence entering you and merging with your consciousness. For a while, everything becomes black and the whole scene disappears. Then you are back in the forest, standing at the crossroads and facing an entrance to a dark cave, hidden among the trees. The cave is a portal leading down into the underworld. As you enter the cave, you notice black stairs carved in stone, leading into the bowels of the earth. In your left hand, you are holding a torch. You can use it to light up the darkness while you are descending the stairs. 
Envision shadows moving on the walls of the corridor and hear their whispering voices, inviting you to go down deeper and deeper. When you reach the end of the stairs, you find yourself in a fire-lit hallway, standing at a huge ornamental gate. It is guarded by Cerebus, the monstrous three-headed dog who has a snake for a tail and countless snake heads on his back. You reach into your pocket. There is a key and a lash. You strike the earth with the lash and the hound starts to obey you. You put the key in his jaws and the gate opens. Now you can go inside. You are now in a chamber lit with torches at the threshold of the underworld. In the middle of the chamber there is a huge mirror. You come closer and gaze into the mirror. But it is dormant and there is no reflection. You reach into another pocket and find a dagger, an athame. Cut your hand and let the blood flow onto the mirror. Now it is alive. You can see images moving and changing in it. Gaze into the mirror and observe the visions. All you see is the reflection of your soul. Now, 
we journey through the night side. As I speak the words of calling. Hecate, Enodia, lead me into the underworld of my soul. With your dagger, I pierce the veil between life and death. Return to the crossroads in the woods and receive for the last time the potion of transformation from the goddess Hecate. Then go down to the mirror chamber at the threshold of the underworld. This time Envision the goddess with the head of a mare. And again, stand before the mirror. Activate it with your blood and call the name of the goddess Hecate. As you gaze at the mirror, at first you can see your human form in which you came there, but then it changes and morphs. The potion drunk at the crossroads has worked its way through your consciousness to become the elixir of transformation. You are now transforming into a creature of the night side. Let it be spontaneous, your new form shaped by your imagination and the energies of the goddess. Or you can visualize yourself in a chosen shape. Take as much time as you need for this visualization. When your transformation is complete, touch the mirror. You will see now that it is no longer a solid surface. Now it is silvery, liquid and three-dimensional, forming a portal to the night side. From lunar energies of the astral plane and you can use it as a gate to the labyrinths of the underworld. Ask the goddess Hecate to guide you on this journey and step into the mirror. For a moment, all becomes black again and then the blackness crystallizes and grows into a landscape that you can enter let the visions flow freely and enjoy the experience.
So coming back to the crossroads, returning to the crossroads in the woods. And coming back to the room that you are seated in. Take a few deep breaths. And then ready your sigil, the trident, and the words to the chant if you need them. So we're gazing at the sigil we're going to do 108, so I'll count them. Where are you going, Smurf? What are you doing? <laughs> Funny dog. So take a breath in. And release. Gazing. So it's like you're gazing at but through the sigil. Yeah, so we'll begin to dance on the paper. Okay. Try Morpheus, try Odetius, Senodia Hecate. 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 Try more fears, try Odetius, and Odia 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 Hecate. 
Then just close your eyes. A couple of breaths. Rub the palms together if you want to. And you can place them over the eyes if you wish. And release when you're ready. Thank you. 
I'm going to take the first two fingers and we're going to ground. So we're plugging into the earth, imagining a white light above your head, which then moves down through your body like a Star Trek scan. Yeah. So it's scanning your body, picking up any extra bits of energy that you no longer need, surplus to requirements, and it's sending them back to the earth and grounding you at the same time. So when you get that grounded feeling, your bum will feel heavy and you might start to sway a little. All good. So if you feel like you need to do the scan again, you can. God, the trials and tribulations, yeah. Got it. I've got it. It is contained. <laughs> I'm not having that round around later on. Oh my goodness. I had a massive one all over my hand. It's like <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. do now a little drink is we are going to thank the goddess Hecate who will then devoke the elementals and we will close the circle so I'm going to close the circle I'm going to use my athame to close the circle I'm going to go uh, with the shins anti-clockwise to close the circle and yeah there we go putting me putting out those candles over there but first of all we're going to thank hecate okay hecate queen of witches Titan Goddess. We thank you for joining us in our circle. We thank you for your guidance on our journey through the underworld. And we thank you for your continued guidance from this new moon through to full. Stay if you will. Go if you must. We bid you hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. So we're going <clears> to <throat> devoke the elementals. So we're going to start in the north. Sleep, oh gods of the north. We thank you for joining us in our circle and bear witness to our magical workings. 
Leave from us here, return to thy sphere. We bid you hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. Coming round to the west. Sleep, O oh gods of the west. We thank you for joining us in our circle and bearing witness to our magical workings. Leave from us here, return to thy sphere, we bid you hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. Round to the south. Sleep, O oh gods of the south. We thank you for joining us in our circle and bearing witness to our magical workings. Leave from us here, return to thy sphere, we bid you hail and farewell. Hail. And farewell to the east. Sleep, O oh gods of the east. We thank you for joining us in our circle and bearing witness to our magical workings. Leave from us here, return to thy sphere, we bid you hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. So we're going to close the circle, starting east, moving north, west, south. Earth will crumble my circle. Winds will tear at the clay. Fire will burn what's left in the urn, and water will wash it away. Earth will crumble my circle. Winds will tear at the clay. Fire will burn what's left in the urn. Water will wash it away. One more time. Earth will crumble my circle. Winds will tear at the clay. Fire will burn what's left in the urn. Water will wash it away. May the circle be open but unbroken. May the God and the Goddess be ever in your heart. Merry meet and merry part and merry meet again. Hello, Smurf. I'm just going to put those candles out on the altar. Find out, Dogger. Okay, oh, that was pretty cool actually. How are you feeling guys? Curious minds want to know. Smurf, will you stop it? Just come and sit down. Come on, come and sit on mommy's lap. Come on, sit on mommy's lap. Smurf is being Smurf today. Right. What are you typing there, Ian? <coughs> Just finish. Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are we? Whoopsie. 
about with that dog? He's in and out like a dog's dinner, literally. Okay. Hi, Della. That's all right. Um, the replay will actually be on YouTube. I'm going to uh, whack it up on YouTube. So it'll be up there. So um, obviously if you're watching this, you're watching the replay, so it's on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, for any of you, um, uh, it's on YouTube. Um, Wendy, hi. Yes, it will be on YouTube and it will also, for our advanced witches, it will also be in um, the uh, ritual part of the ongoing learning. Hi, Carrie ann Alexa, energised. Yes, love it. Um, watching with us. You're welcome, Alexa. Glad you liked it. Oh yeah, the uninvited spider. Do you know we've got um we've got little gadgets to keep mice out, yeah, it sends out a pulse. So it keeps the mice away and it keeps the spiders away as well. But I opened a window. Clearly <laughs> the uninvited spider, obviously Hecate spider, decided to come in because I opened the window. Normally when I open the window, spiders don't come in. But today, there you go. And what's interesting is it waits right till the end to make its face known but it's under a bit of glass over there now so it'll get put outside in a minute <sighs> i'm glad you enjoyed it anyway mandy and uh gary fantastic michelle it got interrupted halfway through damn it <laughs> well so did i by a spider and a smurf actually <laughs> they'll work with spiders and dogs <laughs> uh, yeah, so it will be up, um, it might be up on here for a little while until I can download it because it takes a little while to download and then upload to YouTube. So it'll be here for a little while, probably till the end of today. Um, but then it'll be on YouTube and for our advanced witches, my magic method guys, um, it will be on there under ongoing learning. Facebook is playing up. Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> Although we've had no, we've had no, no issues this evening. I have to say, which is good. It's a good sign. I like that. Uh, I let spider stay, but mice they gotta go. Yes. Well, we don't mind the spiders, but I don't like them when they. And it was a very large one. It was, I suppose, that kind of size, like. Ah, house spider, nothing, you know, awful. But it was a big one. It crawled across my hand. I freaked right out. <laughs> I did freak out. I freaked out. <laughs> yeah, mice. Yeah, mice are not good. I, I don't mind mice, but we don't want them in our houses because they spread horrible stuff and they wee and poo everywhere and they got they got no decorum whatsoever. They don't care where they do it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm with you, Wendy. So we've got these little gadgets. We tr we tried, we did catch a couple with the little tiny things. I think they're little field mice. They're so tiny. Um, <clears> so we've got a humane trap, but... At least it wasn't Aragog. At least it what, what? Aragog, the spider in Harry Potter. Or even Shelob, the one out of Lord of the Rings. Oh my Isn't God. <laughs> She's scary, she is. Um, so yeah, we've got these little gadgets. They also keep fleas at bay as well because, uh, was it last year? No, year before last. Oh my God, there was a like an infestation of like, everyone I know that's got a dog, their dogs had fleas that they could not get rid of until we got this gadget. We've got two of them and they send out an electromagnetic, um, what's electromagnetic? Can't remember, but it's a pulse anyway and it keeps mice, spiders and fleas away, which is really, really good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it tracks aliens, so you adapt or abduct you. It tracks aliens? Yeah, they will abduct you. They just mice and spiders. <laughs> oh, I love that, Michelle! Every time, uh, Michelle says, every time you do one of these with Hecate, my dogs go crazy with barking. Yes! That means she's there. She's with you. Smurf kept going weird, actually. He kept going around in a circle and then disappearing. Uh, dogs are weird. Dogs are weird. You gotta love them, but dogs are weird. 
yeah, absolutely, Wendy. Okay. How do you feel? I feel like... <sighs> yeah. That, that's a feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it Super Witch? Super Witch, I like that. <laughs> Well, at least I'm not Spider Witch. That is over there. It's a bird is a plane. It's, a it's, a, it's plane. actually in a really nice, it's under a really nice glass jar which had incense in it. So it's getting all the nice smells of the incense. It's got a little, uh, little chair and table. It's got a little table and chairs. A glass of wine later. Yeah, a little glass of wine. Yeah, so small, it's, small pack of you know, it's, it's a spoiled spider under, under a little pot. <laughs> it's a spoiled spider. That's fine. Miss has sports riding this morning. Fantastic. Love that. Tally ho. Tally ho. Absolutely. What? Yes, what? tally ho. Tally ho. That's the, 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 the horn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I made the gongs go. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh... Happy New Moon, Kel. Well, uh, so sorry to start. I missed your live. Just home watch on catch up. Happy New Moon, Richie. Happy New Moon, indeed. Happy New Moon. So yeah, just so you Kel. all know, this will be going. It won't be. It won't stay in the group. It'll be up on YouTube, okay? Um, and for any of our advanced witches doing the mind magic, um, it'll be up in ongoing learning as well. Okay. Um, if anyone's interested in any of our courses, you can either drop me a line or you can go to thewitchesbazaar.com and go to our courses. Um, I have got to sort out the pricing, actually. Um, but if you are interested in any of our courses, just give me a shout. Um, no, 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 no. If anyone does want to make a donation, there's a little energy exchange, then you can. Uh, the GoFundMe link, I think, did I put it in there? I don't think I did, did I? No, I didn't. I'm a bit shit. <laughs> I thought I'd put the link in there and I forgot. Um, it is up. Oh, actually, no, in the actual event, it's in there in the description. So if anyone wants to make a little donation as a little thank you, you can. Um, we, I, I have to say, yeah, we've been down a... a Kind of weird road the past few months <laughs> very odd road it is um and what we've come to realize is we need to do things our way very much so uh so our we're going to be doing highway. yeah it's basically our way or they can fuck off <laughs> basically so <laughs> Uh, we're going to be doing more of these. Oh, you said naughty yeah. word. I said a naughty word. Oh, my God. So, yeah. We're going to be doing more of these. Um, I'm also going you to be do doing... More of these if you please. What, what? We'll do more of these if you please. More of these if you please. Yes, you please, please, Vicar. If you please. What are doing? What? Might even do one in Somerset. If we get that far. We might do. <laughs> we might do. Um, we might do. Look at that. <laughs> So yeah, we'll be doing more of these. Um, I'll also be doing, um, not really webinars, because that's a bit corporate, yeah. More like moots. Moots, um, it's kind of discussing our courses and stuff, uh, soul realignment, stuff like that. Uh, and what that'll do is it'll and give you a chance to ask any questions and find out a little bit more about what we do, yeah. And then, if you want to, you can, you know, buy one of our courses. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that as well. Anything you want to discuss about yeah. witchcraft? About witchcraft. So, if there's anything you want to discuss about witchcraft, if there's anything you're not sure about, like, uh, how do I stop a spider from interrupting my ritual? <laughs> Sing to him, <laughs> Sing to I him. think that's what brought him in. I don't want to sing to the spider. That's what brought him here in the first place. 
sting into a spider. Ooh, no, I don't think so. Uh, no, I'm not singing into spiders. It's a spider climbing up the cladding. <sighs> no, climbing up the cladding. We don't have any cladding. Not that I know of, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I missed the live rituals and the advance course. Carry on. Please. Well, you're, you're on the advance course, Carry on. So you're all right. <laughs> you're there. <laughs> Dring! <laughs> Bizarre. Yeah, so carry on, you're you're there, you're you're on it. It's the mind we we renamed it the mind magic method because that's exactly what it is. It's mind magic. But yeah, that's what the moots are for. If you've got any problems or issues yeah. that you want to tackle in yeah. an esoteric occult magical way. Indeed. That's your lady. That's your lady. I mean, sometimes it might just be me, but it might be Ian as well. Yeah. Uh, Misha said the Arachne wanted to join in today. Oh, yes. Well, Didn't, she Didn't she just? Didn't she just? She was not invited. <laughs> Although she but, is one of my deities. Yes, that she is. And what's really interesting is that that's the energy that we've come across recently. So that's interesting. Ooh. I work for the Arachne. There's a very good. No, that's interesting, isn't it? Because that's that's what we've kind of realised is the energy we've been working with, like battling. Yeah. And or battling. And we haven't had a spider in here for fucking ages because we've got these little uh, gadgets. Says, that we're that off now. <laughs> good night to you both. Indeed. Good, good night, night Mandy, Mandy and Gary. Glad you enjoyed it. I hope you're feeling like super witches now. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel free to use that whenever you want to sacrifice him. Okay. Oh, it's frozen. Uh, Carrie Ann says it's amazing. Definitely worth telling. I've learned lots more. Fantastic. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Um, I'm not sure oh, what's going on with the video. Can't we? I say that's weird. It's frozen on there, but it's doing. It's actually working on here. So that's weird. Put a blanket on it. Put a blanket on it. Yeah, I think I will. Like a canary. Live video interrupted. So I oh. can as well. Okay, so we'll see. We'll give it a couple of seconds, see if it comes back. No, you can cut off. Obviously, because I said, sacrifice him. I said Boris Johnson, that's what he <laughs> Okay, so we're done. We're done. Oh, we're back. We're back. Holy crap. We're back. Ah, oh, see, it's the power of the super witch. <laughs> so, yeah. That means, in case you're wondering what that means, that means comment below how you feel after you've done this ritual, yeah? Uh, if you are going to do the ritual later on, you can bloody your sigil if you want to, but it's not, it's not compulsory. You can use other bodily fluids if you like. You know, as long as it's got your DNA in it, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're not sure of the words, you can write them or print them. Print them, write, do them on a, uh, do them in Word or something, and print them off in a really nice, neat um, font that you can actually read. Yes, miss. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, just so you know, the oil we had in here was a mixture of lotus, uh, oak moss, abramelin, and uh, magic. I think that was it, actually. Yeah. It smells good. Consecrated. Uh, consecrated, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, the incense we were burning was a mixture of sandalwood, myrrh, earth incense. And that was it. Oh, and a bit of banishing that was left in the pot from yesterday. Because yesterday, oh, did we go dark moon or what? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Um, 
So. Yes. Something like that. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I will be posting when we're doing the, um, the kind of moots for, you know, all your witchy questions and find out more about what we do, uh, including soul realignment. Uh, if any of you have had a reading, post below. Let people know just how good it is because it's fucking amazing. Um, I think that's it. So we are going to say... Now, I can't do it on there, can I? can't stop the video on yes yes we need, a, we need some food we need some food everybody we need some food hello Boris spider Johnson. sitting underneath it's, it's, it's in a really nice little glass actually and it's, it's all covered in incense now it's got incense sacrifice be fearless stay witchy Blessings. Blessings.